Coming up on News in Depth, my Bikuri man charged with wife's murder, improved commerce in Caribbean with completion of municipal wharf, and city businessman charged with $953 million bank fraud. News in Depth begins now. With tonight's edition of News in Depth, I'm Eva Wharton. Thanks for joining us. First up, a black bush polder farmer has been charged with the murder of his wife. A black bush polder farmer, Sunil Dat Balak, was today remanded to prison for the murder of his wife, Lil Wanti Balak. Appearing before Magistrate Carolyn Artiga at the Wim Magistrate's Court, Balak was not required to plead to the indictable offence. Last week, the police announced that Balak had confessed to his wife's murder and burying her body in their backyard. The police also said that the man led them to the spot where he buried her body in a shallow grave. Since his wife's disappearance, the man told relatives and friends that she had left him, but his story changed when he along with his young lover were arrested. The young lady was also wearing Balak's wife's wedding ring. The young lady, who has since been released from custody, said she did not know that Balak killed his wife. She also accused him of physically abusing her. Balak will make his next court appearance on May 2, 2017 at the Maibicuri Magistrate's Court. More news on the other side of this break. Hey, looky there. Let me go and take your boots. Boots? No, mama, I ain't gonna get a lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't get my favorite color. Pink. Let me go Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Thank you, Mommy. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol. Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich and creamy, Abbey is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Welcome back. Trade to improve in riverine communities in Region 6 with the completion of a wharf at Carifaton. Porting produce from communities along the Carantine River is now a lot easier with the recent completion of the municipal wharf. Former Mayor of Carifaton, Ganesh Gangadin, in an interview with the media last Friday, said this will especially be beneficial to farmers and luggers in communities such as Orealis, Superroot, and those further up the river. Gangadin has been replaced by Mayor Krishnan Jaichan, who was sworn in last week. So prior to this wharf being built, um, those persons would have had to depend on the mercy of the tide before the land or, or the moor, moor the boat to um, traverse and to move their products. Of course, that was extremely difficult and um, they had to be stuck in the boat for several hours, sometimes waiting on this tide. So. Um, we had proposed this um, about a year ago and some other uh, ministries were also very intrusive and very um, interested in the project. He said even though the wharf is completed, some modifications will be done in the future. For example, we're looking at future, in future, um, to put in storage facilities for persons who bring out their produce and may not be able to sell um, all in the same day. So they can actually rent a storage compartment um, store the produce and continue the co commercial transaction uh, on the following day. Eventually also, the design of the wharf would also cater for future expansion to take this out maybe by another 100 feet so that we can capture um, you know, the entire or to the channel edge where there will be no interference at all. Somewhat right now we're still interfered by the tide but um, minimally. Gangadin explained that while the wharf is in use, it is not in full operational mode. 
Uh, the mooring piles are already placed here and at least one other um, set of mooring piles will be placed right alongside here so that the boats can be moored easily. The wharf is constructed by the Ministry of Public Infrastructure and will be handed over to the municipality soon as a memorandum of understanding is being drafted. Approximately $25 million was allocated for the project. Several other developmental projects have been proposed for the town. Among them is the construction of a boardwalk along the wharf, which will increase commercial activities in the area. The Administrative Council applied for funding under a British grant program. Your family will love new Abbey butter spread. Thank you, Mommy. A heart healthy choice with no cholesterol, Abbey is ready to use right out of the fridge. Smooth, spreadable, rich, and creamy, Abbey is a great tasting butter spread. Try it today. Nothing compares to the class and beauty of Beeson windows and doors. Engineered by professionals and built to last longer than the competition. Buy 10 windows and get one 24 by 16 bathroom window absolutely free. No tricks, no gimmicks, and no hidden fees. Prices starting from 13.5 VAT inclusive. So visit our showroom today at lot 1228 New Eccles Industrial Site or BPAT's Building on Regent Street and save big on UPVC or aluminum windows. To order now, call 622 4197 or 226 1292. A young businessman is before the courts in the city, charged with $953 million in fraud. The businessman was granted bail when he appeared before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan in the Georgia Magistrate Court this morning on six counts of fraud involving some $953 million. Bobby Rasool, a gold and diamond exporter, pleaded not guilty to the charge when he was brought before the court. The police's story is that on or between the 21st to the 24th of March at Bartico, Rasool, with intent to defraud the Guyana Bank for trade and industry in various amounts, ranging from $45 million to $298 million, falsely pretending that he had the cash in a citizen's bank account. His attorney told the court that the bank manager did not honor the protocol laid out by the bank and noted that it is negligence on their part, and now his client is being criminalized. He said his client has the cash in his citizen's bank account to honor the checks. He will make his next court appearance in the Bartico Magistrate Court on April 21st. That's a wrap for this edition of News In Depth. Do join us again, same time tomorrow for another edition. <laughs>